also, if you guys don't know, there's gonna be an apocalypse later. I mean, eclipse. It's probably gonna be my last box of cereal. So that's fun. I'm genuinely scared. We're just gonna do like a mukbang, mukbang? Is that how you say it? Mukbang type of thing? And uh, I'm a wreck because I've been crying all night. So I'm wearing sunglasses. My vanilla life cereal, good stuff. And my vanilla almond milk because I'm allergic to lactose. Not that I eat it anyway because I'm vegan. Okay, so I watched a lot of videos last night and was crying and was having multiple panic attacks because I have those because I have extreme anxiety. So this, this thing, I thought it was going to be no freaking big deal. And I just found out about this thing two days ago. I didn't know we were having a freaking eclipse. And not just any eclipse, a total solar eclipse, which is like the one that I guess you want to see. And then if you don't know, I also have my dog, Sammy, and he is a inside dog, so he would be safe. But there's also Bartholomew the cow outside, and I don't know what to freaking do about him. And I hope he doesn't look up. My aunt and uncle over there that live beside me, they keep saying that livestock don't won't look up, which I hope that's freaking true, and I hope he doesn't go blind. <sighs> because I love Bartholomew. You know, if you know me, I love animals, and I don't want to see them get hurt or blinded. <sighs> Good stuff. Now, I forgot about this for a little while. The big one in the San Andreas movie, it was like kind of like a simulation of what they think would happen. And there might be a, a giant earthquake in LA and kill a bunch of people, which I love the people in LA because they're YouTubers and I watch them all, pretty much all of them. And if they die, I'm gonna fr probably freaking die inside. San Francisco, if anybody lives in San Francisco, then what happened in the movie was that freaking wave happened. The 100 foot or however freaking tall wave came, took out the whole city and flooded it. And I really, really don't want that to actually happen. But what if the solar eclipse triggers that? This is what I go through every day in my mind. Bad things that could happen. Now, I haven't gone through an episode like this in a really long time, but when it comes to like sciencey stuff and you know, the world, the planet, and then also I was getting into watching some of the videos that was about Virgo, and then she lines up with like the eclipse somehow, and then Leo's beside, you know, like all those, the signs, whatever you call them. I'm a Taurus. Anyways. And then there's this like seven headed tin horn dragon or something that's supposed to show up and the angels are like going to kill it up in heaven and that's what the eclipse is. I don't freaking know. I was just getting it so deep into this. They were also talking about whenever God's coming to take all of us and with September 23rd because it's 33 days after Virgo uh, has this man child. And then that's why the dragon comes because it wants to kill the child as soon as it's born. I don't know. I'm just shook, okay? I'm shook out of my freaking mind. And, you know, today feels like it's a lot hotter already at 9 o'clock. But it's probably just me being too overheated at this situation, if I'm being honest. Stuff like this makes me freak the freak out. Victorious. Victoria Justice. I just cannot today I cannot and I'm gonna probably vlog more today about my situation my sister's in school and she's gonna be staying over she's got soccer practice but you could leave early if you have a paper to sign you out but she's gonna stay there cuz she's had soccer practice anyway and they have these special glasses at school that they're gonna watch the eclipse with I was watching some videos last night of a total eclipse and I mean, it's kind of cool. I've seen Twilight Eclipse too, but that's science fiction. But this is the real thing. I could actually hurt my eyes here and go blind. I just want to curl up in a freaking ball and then hopefully wake up tomorrow. Oh, dang it, I forget what I'm talking about. <sighs> Stupid.
stupid ADD. Or should I say ADHD? Because the Lord knows I'm hyper. Oh yeah. So if that earthquake actually would happen in the west coast, then we would feel it on the east coast. Because of the United States, where I live. That would probably happen, because if it's a 9.2... Well, yeah, and then if that happens, then it's going to send a wave to Japan. This could really not be that big of a deal. And I'm sorry I didn't take the time to do, like, good lighting and stuff. And I'm back behind a dirty wall. Sorry about that, too. Okay, it's 9.46 right now. I've been talking for, like, 15 minutes and 30 seconds. This whole thing's supposed to go down at, like, 110... And then the highest point it's going to be at is 236 or something like that. And then it's going to end at 357. Right, let's go outside. Hello, Sammy. Wait, uh, I got to put this in a different mode. There we go, guys. Now we're in the outdoor mode. You can see the sky. It's pretty. But what is that big gust of wind sound? You guys see the plants moving? Oh my sweet Atlantis. Oh my gosh, I look like a freaking wreck right now. I mean, I think I would try to catch this on video, but it says something about it ruins your lens. I don't know which part exactly this eclipse is going to happen from in my sky, but oh, I feel like I'm going to die. I'm shook it to the max. So yeah, I'll see you guys later when... We're getting closer to the eclipse. On a side note though, do you guys like my new cup? It's got the starter Pokemons on it. Yay, yeah, I love Pokemon. Anybody still play Pokemon Go? I still kind of do. If anybody knows what this Pokemon is because I forget and I'm too lazy to look it up, can you please tell me this Pokemon? If you don't live on the side of the world that's going through this eclipse right now and you've already been through a total solar eclipse, then tell me about it in the comments or any experience with any kind of eclipse. I'll read it because I want to know your other people's experiences because I think that's cool. I, that's one of the reasons why I'm on here to talk to other people and I just think that's a cool part of the internet. Okay. Really see you next time when it's like probably one. Do you see these freaking rays emerging from the sun? Our Lord and Savior, J-Hope! I'm just kidding. But seriously though, look at these rays of sunshine. Oh my gosh, I love science, but I hate it at the same time because it can be so scary. Okay guys, I don't know how much of video I got left on here, but I can see it in my freaking box. Let's see if I can find it again. Oh yeah! Can you see that up there? That's it! That's freaking it! There it is! There it is, right there, ladies. No, it's not! It's really shining. Because of that foil. Yeah, there it is. I'm gonna try to do this time lapse video so I can show you the light.
It's almost time. It's almost 2.36. We got five minutes. If you have the glasses, it's going to look something like this. It's going to look something like that. So it's almost fully covered. You see? Ugh! Stupid freaking bugs! This is me walking around. Why is my camera like this, though? There we go, I fixed it. Yeah, so this is me walking around in my box. Because I don't want to look at the light. I thought I messed up my freaking camera. Oh, it's buying freaking clouds. Are you kidding me? Sammy, how do you feel right now, huh? You can't go outside, so you're sad. See how it's changed? And there it is. Dumbest thing.